Yeah, where they go to school, they're in their last year of elementary right now. That's what they tell me. I, I asked them if they, I, I didn't know. I told Randy, I said, I don't know, fifth grade maybe. He said, they're bound to be in the sixth. They just turned 12. So. Yeah. So now down there was sixth grade middle school? No. 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 Sixth no. grade school. When we went to school, it wouldn't, but I think it changed at one yeah. point later on, and it was. But because we, we went, was always sixth grade was middle school for us, not, sixth, seventh, not, and eighth. Down there, it wasn't. I don't know if it is now or not, but it I still don't think it is. It I didn't think used you to get be. sixth grade at Pleasant View right now. I'm uh, pretty sure they still have sixth grade. I think they still have it in grade school now. Middle school seventh and eighth, then they go to the high school. Right. It's on the same campus that middle mm -hmm. school and high school is, but I don't think that's ever changed. I went to the middle school the first year it was open down there. First year it was open, I was I was in one of the classes. And I think it's still the same right now. Gosh, that was a long time ago. I ain't lying, that was a long time ago. <laughs> I still got my middle school class ring. Oh, you guys got class rings for middle school middle down there? Middle school, yeah. It was a... Then they was called the Middle School Rockets. Now they all go by the Colonels, red and black. Then it was Middle School Rockets, and the classrooms was like gold colored. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The stone was. They changed it all now to all of it, like the county, with the county. I never did get a class ring. I didn't do that. Like high school was. Somebody got my high school one. I don't know who it was. <laughs> Said somebody got my high school one, and I don't know who it was, but it was your daughter. <laughs> I, I never did get it back. I don't know what she done with it. <laughs> no tell. No, uh, she had it, and yeah, that's that's the one I wish I had back with my high school class ring. But I don't know what your mom did with it. I don't know either, cause I, as far as I know, I don't have it. Uh, if it was around, you would have found it way before now, I'd say. <laughs> yeah. Rita had it. She probably sold it away. Got or, mad at me. Well, it was probably <laughs> she dated a bunch of guys that they may have thrown threw her stuff away. Yeah, but probably. And she's also it. she had a couple um, storage. She put all of her stuff in storage. She lost a couple storage spots over the years too. That's the only thing I wished I'd have had back was my high school class ring. You know, but I could always bought another one. It's still insane. Yeah. I can remember what I did with my. Husband's class ring. I flew it out the window. She probably did too. She probably <laughs> did too. I mean, she may not have, but. Uh. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about Harold? Yeah. You got mad and threw it out the window? Huh? You got mad and threw it out the window? Yeah. Gone. That's what I figured happened to mine too. Gone. I never did ask her, so. You lived here then, didn't you? Huh? You lived right here then. <laughs> you lived here when I was met Rita. Well, you was in no, you was in Kentucky. Yeah. And then you moved back up here. Yeah. But this same house, ain't it? Yeah. Well, we was living over on oh. Walbrook. Yeah. But this, but her, her, her uh, grandmother owned this house. Yeah. But Somebody were, owned this house, because I've been to this yeah, house but before. You was, you was here before. Yeah, I was going to say, we, we moved here in 83. 83? Mm -hmm. 83. Yeah. I've been to this house before sometime or another. Yeah. yeah. Where was the other one at? It was over off Riverside. Yeah, over on the other side of Northridge. I don't really remember that. Yeah, I think that. he was over there, too. I probably was. I don't remember that one. I remember this one. And I remembered your mom's. Yeah. We went to your mom's yeah. house too before. That's been a long time ago, man. It's <laughs> been a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. What did they ever do with that house to get rid of it? Uh, Cody's living in it. Oh, okay. I could not think of his name the other day. He was coming up. Cody. Randy said, What's it? her Rita's brother's name? I said, Buddy, I can't remember. I mean, <laughs> well, Jimmy's, Jimmy's the brother. Jimmy's the brother, right. And Cody's, Cody's, the, Cody's his son. His son, Jimmy. I couldn't remember Jimmy's name. Yeah. I couldn't remember it. And, and then, Jimmy, Jimmy lives uh, down the street here, yeah. not too far, in the little house. So your grandson lives in the other one? Mm. Okay. His, that's his son. Okay. Yeah. 
I, I've like probably seen stuff. him with a little boy before. He ain't no little boy now, probably. Mm -hmm. but. Well, you see that Caleb sometimes on my videos? Yeah. Or so? That's Cody's son. Oh, really? Yeah. And he's old enough to have a son, too? Yeah, Cody's <laughs> early 30s. Dang. How old's Jimmy? How old's Jimmy? Huh? How old's Jimmy? He's doing good. How old is he? God. What? I don't know. 50. What? 50, what? I don't know. I don't know. 54, 55? Something like that. Man, time goes by. He's a little boy. Oh, wait, let me How see. How old would your mom be? He's four years younger. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm trying to think. What was the last one, Rita's? Probably about 58. Rita, probably about 58. I'm 63. I was 20. 20 when you was born, Rita was 16, I think. Yeah. So she's four years younger than me. So she's probably yeah. either 58, whenever her birthday would be this year, she'd yeah, been 59. Yeah, Cody's probably about, fit, or Jimmy's probably about 55 or something. Yeah, yeah. When Derek was born, I was 20, and Rita was 16. So she was four years younger than I was. Yeah. So, but I didn't have a birthday, so she would probably wouldn't have had one yet. So she'd be 59 this year. She would be 59. Most of the girls would have got to see her. She was a sight. Yeah. <laughs> she was a sight. She, she, she was a well, sight. She, she was a sight, that girl was. <laughs> She's a different one. She lived her life the way she wanted to. Yeah. Yes, she did. She wasn't, she was good, she wasn't that bad. She was just, she had a different lifestyle. Huh? She had a different lifestyle. Yeah. She would have loved these girls. We'd, we'd all be pretty boring to her. Oh, Lord, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why she got rid of me for her, yeah. Because I was boring. <laughs> She was just ready to start traveling and yeah. doing all that wild stuff. She knew you wouldn't have been down for all that. Not me. I'm happy right where I'm Dad at. Dad had him a mohawk. He'd be on stage. <laughs> cutting his chest glass. <laughs> uh, she went the right route because I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that. These girls wouldn't want Papa to do that, would you? Act like that. The mohawk. And uh, don't hair, fib to him. Tell him that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. you like that? I ain't getting no mohawk. They want you to get mohawk and some tattoos on the side of your head. Nope, 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 nope. And you're gonna be the drummer in their band. No, mm -hmm. I can do it with long hair and a beard, and no tattoos. See, that long hair and a beard will work too. I was, he can play, I the drums, play the drums. I used to anyway. <laughs> I used to play the drums when I was younger. I can do simple beats. A couple simple beats. I, can't do that. I could play drums back back then, or you know, a long time ago. I don't know if I could now, but That's my drums. <laughs> That's all you got, ain't it? That's it. I am better with my mouth. That? I tried to do that, like I'd sit down at my buddy's drums. Yeah. I'd sit there like and I'd try it. it don't come out say my out of my hands. Oh, you yeah. did your mouth, huh? Yeah. What kind of turtle's that? I think it's a yellow belly slider. Looks like a snapping turtle. How long them things live, you reckon? Uh their life expectancy is forty years. And he's like 20 right now, so yeah, how so much? 40. Well, he's getting about ready then, ain't he? Well, he's he's about halfway there. Remember, he's a baby when I was around. I was 22. So that was like 20 years ago, so yeah. he's halfway there. I thought you had him before that. No. So he should, if he stays healthy, he'll be around until I'm in my 60s. I could be here before you know it. 
<laughs> Won't it? It'll be here before you know it. Yeah, it creeps up on you. Yeah, it, it don't wait on you. Your uncle turned 60 this year. Yep. Randy's 60. Your uncle Randy's 60 years old. Mm -hmm. Look how old he is. Look at him. Mm -hmm. Look at all that gray hair. <laughs> Apple don't got gray hair. I would have a gray beard, but I don't have gray hair. My hair's never turned yet. I mean, there's some in there, but I've never done nothing, anything to my hair. Yeah, you'll wake up some morning oh, and it'll, it'll be, be all there. there. It's turned like from one year to the next. Did it? That's yeah, but I'm 63 years old. It should have done been gray, shouldn't it, son? I don't ever dye my hair. I dye my beard, though. My beard's gray, but my hair's not. But your hair's... <laughs> oh, I've never, never done anything to my hair, no. Uh. That's why I dye my beard, because I said, well, I want a beard, but I'm not going to have a gray beard with brown hair. <laughs> if they would blend together, it might be all right, but they don't blend, so I ain't going to do it. I just let her dye my beard. That's what an easy, stress-free life will do for you. Exactly put no right. gray on your head. No gray on my head. Well, Mammy never did have a lot, did she? Because you was quite a bit older. See, if you would have ended up running around with Rita, you'd been oh, gray at 40. Yeah. I'd probably been dead by now. <laughs> <laughs> I've been dead by now. Running around Rita. Probably. There's only a couple of them left that are alive, huh? What's that? Rita's men. Oh. <laughs> she, she put them in the ground, huh? Well, something. She wasn't nothing wrong with her. She just liked to live different. She liked a little faster pace. Yep. Packed it in. Yep. Um, like I said, it ends up being... She just liked a faster style of living. Yeah. Ended yeah. up being a good choice for her because, you yeah. know what I mean? She didn't, you know, she had a young life. So yeah. it's like she packed in. She seen more than we'll probably see if we all oh, made yeah. it to 100. <laughs> yeah. She was just reading, that was it. And she wasn't going to be no different for nobody else. I, I couldn't hang with her. You know what I mean? Like, even as <laughs> a, like, was young, like, early 20s, I, I mean, I'd be like, Mom, dude, can we go home? Like, ah. Uh, yeah, she, she'd be out six, seven days at a time. Not me. I can't do that. Short can't do it now. <laughs> can't a baby. I had to get me a younger one to take care of me. That's right. Yeah. I'm getting older. I got to have one to take care of me now. She does a good job at it, though. Well, good. Yeah. She takes care of me pretty well. Mm -hmm. Don't you girls? Mm -hmm. well, we don't sit at home. We run around all the time. We go somewhere. She's off every other weekend. We always going somewhere to the mountains or somewhere. We yeah. always go do stuff. Mostly down in Tennessee, actually. I was gonna say, just for, I couldn't keep up with you either, probably. <laughs> I mean, we just we don't do. I mean, we just like to go like to the mountains and drive through Cades Cove and yeah. go to Cherokee. And I like Cherokee. Across the mountain at Gatlinburg. Yeah, girls, these girls I have a hard time sometimes just cruising somewhere a mile down the road, don't I? <laughs> Them too. I'll be like, come on, let's get in the car. Like, oh. I think they need to come down and stay a week with Papa next summer. This summer. I don't think there'd be nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. You? They don't come and stay with their Papa. We we'll take them to Dollywood and stuff. Case Cove. Case Cove. Across the mountain, see the elk. And <laughs> would you like to come stay a week with Papa? Yes. I don't think Nikki would mind that. Mm -hmm. She lets him stay down there with me that one time while she was bringing her back. She had to come back for something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you, they stayed with me then. And they was fine then. That was several years ago. They didn't miss her too bad. Now they're bigger, so. Rebecca took care of them. Didn't she? Yeah. That shocked me. She let them stay then, honestly. <laughs> you just come in and come up here. Because you, you didn't come back till the next day. Yeah. Swimming in the pool over there all the time. Oh yeah, they need to come and stay with us a week this pool. summer. Not that I can swim. A week or two. I drown. 
know if I don't know if she'd let you stay two. <laughs> I don't know if she'd let you stay two. I think she trusts me. We could run around. Rebecca could take off work and we could run around all week. I'm off two weeks at the four a week before the fourth of July, the fourth yep. of July week I've already taken off. Nice work. You need to work that out for me. With Nikki. Get something figured out? Yeah. Let them come and stay with me a week or so. We'll come up here and get them, take them back. You got to go to the candy store. <clears throat> yeah, it's cool. Like I said, we just, you know, I mean, we've been there. Be good for them to spend time with their past. It's not all like really yeah. hard labor work. <laughs> you know, like digging a ditch or nothing. Nah, nah. worry about. No, and like I said, it's different. That was one of the oh, things Warren yeah, said because I yeah. was doing that. When I was gutter cleaning, he's too wild. Uh, he was like, "It'd be safer than what you've been doing, man." man. He's like, "Wild at all?" Because I told him I was like, "I might want to do my own business doing that." And he was like, to Fords?" Because I couldn't make good money doing that. You know? But he's like, "Well, you know, done now we got climbing the ladders around." And stuff. I was like, "Yeah, I'll be done for a while." Like. I don't prefer, you know, I mean, it's fine, I can do it. I'd rather stay on the ground now. You know? Huh? They made me one thirty to ten thirty. That's pretty much the whole day. We don't really have a lot of time to go do nothing else. Yeah. Rocky's looking at a place next to my house. I'll be living in the candy store. That he could buy. I don't know if he wants it or not. It's kind of small, but I told him, I said, well, you can build onto it. I mean, it's right next to me, right out of my yard. His woman wants to be there because she wants the boys that close to us. Yeah. They can just run through the yard and be at my be at my house. I mean. But you know, I told him if he didn't, if he wanted to get, it, if he don't, don't. It's not that big, but but uh, it's right it's next door to me, price. pretty much. It's a really good price. You know where my building sits? Where? It's at your in house? My, in my house. My building where I keep my lawn mowers and everything. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a double wide right there, and then there's one up the hill just a little ways. That's the one. That old woman died, and they're going to sell it. That and Rocky's trying to think about buying it. Double it's, wide with three oh, yeah. buildings, and it's a, just an acre. But it's old. It's old, but, you know, she lived there by herself for years. You can't so. buy anything before. What, well, Rocky's thinking about moving his little family in there yeah. on the street there? Yeah. Thinking about it. She Where are they living at? They live down in Winsburg past Walmart right now. They rent. Right yeah, now. but you can get it for forty thousand. You can't buy nothing for forty thousand. Yeah, you'd can't like you. you'd like having them boys right there on the street, thousands. wouldn't you? Yeah. You can't buy nothing. It's got yeah, like an acre of land with it, and a, and a double Three wide pounds. you could move into already. So yeah, forty thousand. You can't buy anything in Kentucky for forty thousand. Much. Yeah, basically something livable already. I mean, it needs some work. I mean, you know. He, he'd have to build another room on this, that, and other. Cause they That'd got, be neat if he was right there on the road there. Well, he'd be coming right through the yard, right there, right to the house. Yeah. Right? You'd know where it was at if you, if you was yeah, thinking. There's a double wide right. right there across from my yard. Yeah. And that way. And then on up, Ruby Reed lived there. That old woman, Donna's Donna's mom lived there. I'm pretty sure I know where you're talking yeah. about. And then on around the road now is... Rodney, Donna's brother, lives back there. That was her son. He bought it and lived back there. But they're going to sell that place right there next to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rocky should snap it up. 40000 is cheap. 40000 ain't bad it's for anything. Three bedroom double wide. Yeah. I was going to say, even if he wants to just try it out for a little while, if it don't, if he don't end up liking it, then he could sell that property could later sell on. Sell it or rent it and buy him something yeah. else or something. I'm buy it. That way, when the girls move down there, they got them a place. Yeah. And it's right there with all the family. And then Joanne Rains died too. That and she turned down the road. That big, pretty brown-looking house on the right. They own from the. It's like big glass eight. Big frame glass eight frame-looking mm -hmm. house. She just died, and now they're probably going to sell it. But man, it'd be expensive. They own from before you turn into Flatwoods. Mm -hmm. Come past my right. house down there by the river. Oh yeah, and on that whole big strip. Huh. He wants the land behind. He w he'd like to have the land that joins my field. They own it, but I don't know You're that they break about it off. You know, putting a driveway in, a septic tank, getting water back there, yeah. then getting a place. You're looking at a lot of money. A lot money of money. That. But he, I think that's 
that would sell way too. Gina's wanting Brandy to buy it because it's right across the street from her. Mm -hmm. And then maybe sell Rocky that back field that joins me. You know, but I'd say it's going to go expensive, man. It's got a big monster garage on it where he stored all his heavy equipment and stuff. It's, it's big. It'd be it's neat got, if everybody could be all living down there on the road. Oh, yeah. Huh? Well, it's got a house, a rent house and a trailer right there next to the road that they rent. Then they got that big garage that's huge. Uh, then they got a, that's a nice house. They built that house. And then they own Plum Down Pass Me by my dog lot and stuff. Mm -hmm. They own Plum Over the Hill. I own down to the river and they own on that side down right with it. So it's a lot of land. I don't know how much it is, but it's quite a bit. But I don't think Rocky would be able to afford it. But. I don't know. He makes pretty good money. I don't know what he makes because he don't turn it all in. Yeah, but he probably could take a loan out for that one because he doesn't no, turn the money in, so show, that's a problem. He don't show where he makes that good money, you know? Yeah. He's got that barber shop, and then he got that grass mowing, so he makes he makes more of that than he does cutting hair he's And then it? they got that cleaning it's service, all cash too. The table, so he doesn't yeah, it's all cash, so he ain't got no... He, he can't show that he could pay it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't know what he'd go for, seriously. I, I wouldn't even guess. I don't know. But they, Tina talked to the boys, and they act like neither one of them wanted to keep it, so they may sell it. But they probably won't sell it all together. So. All right, baby girl. My babies. Oh, Pablo's getting old. Girls getting too big, ain't they? <laughs> getting big fast. Yeah. I'll get over here and hug on this little baby right here, this little baby. You <laughs> can't get off of it. Get off your papa. Does this guy look like my dad? Yes. Do we look alike at all? I mean, well, if, I, if I had a beard. And some hair. Some hair. <laughs> yes. Think so a little bit? Yeah. I think him and Joey favors quite a bit. My oldest daughter. That one picture we got, you had long hair. You had long hair then. It's at mom's, I think. And uh, you and Durant together. I got one to house too. I think you enjoy favors quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Then for sure. You see his nose out healed up? Yeah. Oh, I didn't it. even. You don't even notice it, do you? Mm -hmm. I do. It aggravates the far out of me. She said, You can't even tell what, it. They cut it little? from here down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see a little. Yeah. You, if you have to get close, you have to really look to see it. See it? Don't look bad there. Mm -hmm. They cut me from here to here. It could have skinned cancer off my nose. I didn't want to do it, but... I made him. She made me do made, it. She so. made him. I made him do it. Yeah, I wasn't going to do it. The insurance, her insurance they, was They say up. if you don't take care of it, it spreads. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm glad I've done it now, but dang. <laughs> I don't like to it be was on the 10 years on. before I ever met him, and I finally... I'm the same way. I don't like that. Stuff. I hate it. I ain't had no... They called this a surgery. I didn't really call it a surgery. I ain't had no surgeries like that. We had to be cut on or put in the hospital for nothing. Had to go hold his hand Anything. And I'm 63. So. I didn't until this year. Okay, well, you know what I mean? Last yeah. January. I've never, except for this, I've never been in the hospital or anything. He wasn't even in the hospital for that. That's good. For, and I'm 63 years old, so I guess I've been blessed not to. A lot of people, some of them, most of them dead, but a lot of people have had operations or something. Yeah. But I never had, and I didn't want to do that, but they called it an operation, but it was just, they done it in about an hour, and I went home, yeah. so, yeah. <laughs> ten, over $10,000 for that, over $10,000, I said, that's ridiculous, if you didn't have insurance, you couldn't do it, how could you afford that, I couldn't afford that, her copay was called up, and it paid all of, but maybe a couple hundred, yeah. or something, I couldn't pay $10,000 mm -hmm. to have that done. No. Well, I ain't loaded with money like that. Well, this. that was just, like I said, me being in the hospital last year. If the uh, insurance hadn't picked it up, it would have been 40000 something oh, dollars. Oh, Lord mercy. Just for being in there, you know. How, nobody can pay that. I mean, you'd have to be millionaires to be able to afford that if you didn't have insurance. I mean, I couldn't believe this was over $10,000. So I wasn't in there an hour. I know. You know? Because it was a 
surgeon or specialist had to come and do it, you know what I mean? They make way too much money. They make way too much. That's ridiculous. But it's, they won't see me in June. Well, it's not just them. There's there's like a whole line yeah, of like 15 people that are yeah. getting a cut of They're that. They're not going to see me in June. <laughs> I ain't going back. They want to look every six months to see if they find any more moles on the face yeah. as I'll do that. And you pay me the $300. Yeah, they charge you like $300 just to go look at it. She can look at it. Yeah. Yeah, if I don't see nothing. If I see something, I might go back. But if I don't see nothing, I ain't going back. <laughs> they said they got it all. so. That's, but they did say, you know, it's come from the sun. Too much yeah. sun all through the years. They said it could. They said we don't see anything no more right now, and we did get that. But it could another one could come up. You know, maybe not, but it could. But until it does, ain't it's all those it. seasons of softball. Yep, product, it which is. is. It is. Well, I stayed outside. I stayed outside all the time. So yeah, I played ball for years, and then I'd always mow and stuff. And I like to be outside, but I hide out. Under a roof a lot too. No, I mean, I stayed out of the, the sun. sun. You know, it's good too because it. I mean, that's what that come from. Yeah. That's what they told me. Said the sun caused it. That's well, so why they'd always give me a hassle when I was doing my window because I wear my yeah my hoodie outside and they're like, "Aren't you hot in my pants?" And I'm like, "Keeps them from the bugs in the sun from getting me." Sit with me. Here, you can sit back here for a minute. Okay. If I go with my pants. Oh, did you see what he cut my nose? Hmm? My nose surgery right here. Does it hurt? No, it don't hurt now. It hurt when they done it. I wasn't happy. But they said they got it all. They charged over $10,000 to do that. His first visit, I didn't tell him this was going to be a biopsy. Yeah, they done a biopsy. I he didn't, didn't like talk to me for an hour. I was mad Way at her. Way back home, he wouldn't talk to me. He was she mad. didn't tell me that. I thought they were just going to look I at it. If I told him, he wouldn't went. <laughs> they was, I thought they were just going to look at it and say, well, you know, it could be. <laughs> they done a biopsy. They took a razor blade and cut it off. Oh, yeah. I said, oh, my. They said, we're going to numb this and everything. He goes, no, you're not. I said, yes, you are. <laughs> he, was, he wouldn't talk. She said, you want me to hold your hand? I said, no, I don't want you to do nothing. I was mad. <laughs> I was mad. I said, don't touch me. <laughs> On the way home, he's just sitting and just all balled up mad at me. <laughs> they cut that thing off to biopsy it, you know. Yeah. They don't have no mercy on no, you. Man. No, man. You imagine sticking needles in your nose right there? To I numb it? Oh, Lord. I'm not a needle person, no way, so. No, no. Oh, God. I can't I stand have, it. I have contact last time I had to get my blood drawn. Okay, I can't stand I let them do it like that, and I, I'll check my sugar with my little, we got pricky finger, but that don't bother me anymore, but I don't like needles. Well, you know they got that other thing you put on your... Yeah, I know, but I, I, don't, I don't know how that works. You know what? My sister's been diabetic for probably 25, 30 years. And she, and I was telling her about that. And she got that thing on her. She loves it. Hmm. You just she, read it with your phone, don't you? Or something? Uh, yeah. She's, all you do is just do like that. And it, yeah, but it's always know, on there, ain't it? You can, you can read it any time of the day. Does they it stay right. on there all the time? All the time. I don't see how 